hi everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is a lush haul ooh, ooh. can i get out ooh, ooh. i went into lush the other week and i picked up some of the autumnal stuff and the christmas stuff i bought more christmas stuff mainly because i just prefer the christmas scent so i just wanted to go through the stuff that i have got i've got it all in a bag here smells so good. I've already opened all of this stuff just because when I got home I just couldn't wait and I have had it in this bag for over a week now. So I hope I didn't throw the receipts away so I'll try and tell you the prices of stuff as I go along. The staff in the shop are always really nice and they were really nice in the shop that I went into. I went into the Birmingham store um, in the city centre and they were lovely in there and they gave me one of the, I want to say magazines? Is it a magazine? I don't really know. A catalogue. Catalogue probably is a better word. I do my best to describe them as best as I can, but I'm rubbish at describing smells. So, great video idea. Great. This is the Magic Wand Bubble Bar. For me, this is like a classic Lush product. Let me show you. Bubble Bars are probably my favourite product from Lush. I'm going to read what it says in the actual book about it. It says, magic wand, make a wish. Uh, wave a magic wand over bath time for clouds of candy sweetness. Yes. Oh, so good. It smells like, I don't want to say like a pick and mix bag, but it kind of does. It jingles as well. And this was 5.25, I love this. It smells so fresh, and just smells like such a typical lush scent. I feel really relaxed. <laughs> I absolutely love that and it's one of my favourite products from Lush. The next one which is very similar is the Magic of Christmas. Holy moly. This is probably one of my favourite ones that I bought. Again, it's a bubble bar. It's on a cinnamon stick. And it has a bell. Like, not that that makes any difference, but um, it's so cool. It smells incredible. It smells really spicy. Lots of cinnamon in there. There's bits of cinnamon and clove. I think that's clove in there. Let me just double check. Yeah, this was 5 95 but it just smells incredible. There's clove, almond, and cinnamon in it. Love that. What else What else can I say about it? It just smells like Christmas. Oh, yes. I'm gonna stick on the theme of bubble bars, and next one is this one, and this is Peeping Santa. Mine's kind of like deformed. It's a really bright red. It smells incredible though. I really like this one, although it's meant to have like a little bit of white on the top. Oh, there's something inside it. Oh, is that popping candy? Is that popping candy? Is it? It looks like it has popping candy on it. It's got like little tiny red bits dotted on the top. Um, but this was 3 95 which I think is really affordable. Something that is reusable. It smells really nice. It doesn't smell Christmassy, but... It smells really nice. So this one is Father Christmas and the book says get your claws out and to me this smells kind of like bubblegum-ish. Really nice and not too overpowering or too sweet. In the book it says get your claws out, fill your bath with a jolly holly green colour and sweet candy floss fragrance. Wait, so on the inside it's green? Oh, you can see like a little bit of green. I'm going to take that, is that what it means? I've never had this one before. And that was 3.65. Really like that. Next up I have Butter Bear and this instantly just sounds like really moisturising. I don't I just don't know what a bear has to do with Christmas. Firstly wouldn't put a bear with Christmas. Is that, is that just me? I don't know. It smells really nice, really, really fresh and very subtle. It just smells really it smells like vanilla. Is that what it is? Let me read. Butter bear. Oh yeah, vanilla scented bear hugs with fair trade cocoa butter. Imagine this is really moisturising in the bath and would make the water feel really nice. Um, it's crumbling away in my hands, but it looks really cute. It has a little brown nose and that was $1.95, um, so a lot cheaper than the others. It's probably why it's more subtle. But you can smell the cocoa butter now. I know it's that. It's really nice. And then finally is Stardust and this is probably my least favourite one for two reasons. Number one, oh, I've got to up my nose. So three reasons. Number one, it goes up your nose. Two, it's extremely crumbly, so the back just literally like crumbles away. And number three, it smells of coconut. Um, it's not, it's not an overpowering coconut smell. But I, I'm just not a fan of coconut. I just always think of Bounty, and I don't like Bounty. So. Um, 
yeah, it's my least favourite, but it looks really pretty. This was two, £2.95. And that is everything that I picked up from Lush. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. I also have quite a few new blog posts on my website, which I will leave in the top line of the description. If you are into reading blogs, then you can go and give those a read. I have all of this stuff on there. I have a review of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, which I'm wearing now. I have another one about my makeup bag range, um, because I've bought out three new bags. If you follow me on any of my social media, you will have known that. So that is the end of this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you very, very soon for another video.